What is going on, guys? We have another Top 10 Polls of the Week episode. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're joining me with the... If you are joining the live premiere, feel free to say hello. Hopefully you got your coffee ready to go. Not chugging it this week. That's a terrible idea. Not advisable. Don't try that at home. I hope you guys are ready. I am very excited to show you this week's list. But before we get into that, I want to thank you guys so much for showing up in a big way last week. We got double the view count on last week's episode. So a lot of newcomers. Hopefully they stuck around. Hopefully you guys enjoy what you see here today. And if for whatever reason you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. At the time of recording this video, we are literally 25 subs away from 20K, which is insane. I did not think we were going to be able to celebrate our 20K and our 100th pack war at the same time. I didn't think we would get there in time, but we're going to have a, a pack war at 7.30. We're shooting for 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday. We're going to have an after hours party after that. Please try to be there if you can. Some of the giveaways you will have to be there in order to win. Some you won't, but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So if you can make it on Wednesday, please set your calendars. Again, 7.30 for the pack war, partying after. All right, that's enough housekeeping for now. Let's get into the top 10 polls of the week. At number 10 this week, we have Card King Breaks. That'd be brutal. But I caught a peek. All right, guys, here we go. Good luck to you all. If it is who I think it is, that is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Going to the Jaguars. What? Trevor Lawrence. Boom, baby. <laughs> it's bigger than I thought. Wow, that is a banger. Woo! Woo! This is the Trevor Lawrence Mosaic No Huddle Black Autograph. Now the breaker does go on to say he thinks this is like a 10K card, but after looking at comps, I looked at a bunch of T-Law 101s that have sold on eBay. I'm thinking this is going to be around 5K, but a very cool pull nonetheless here at number 10. And number nine, we're with Platinum Card Breaks. Family, nice one. That is sick. The eye black on there. And we got a monster. How about a Mac Jones? One out of 18. One spot is unbreakable. Bam! First off the line, RPA Mac Jones for color. This is the Mac Jones Immaculate Premium Patch Rookie Auto Premium Edition. It's a first off the line. It's more of an emerald in color, but uh, this is a very beautiful card nonetheless. And I got this at $6,500. Number eight, we're with Leighton Sports Cards. Woo! Dude! Dude! One of one! Rookie NFL Shield Laundry Tag Patch Auto Trevor Lawrence. Boom! Woo! Monster <laughs> hit! Yet another Trevor Lawrence 101. This one is the Immaculate Rookie Eye Black Jersey NFL Shield. I think the Eye Black is a pretty cool touch on these cards. I think Immaculate's the only one that does it too, but. Uh, when looking at comps, there is a Nike swoosh of the same exact card of T-Law 101 listed for 20 k on eBay. I think that price might be a little high because the out of 10 of this card sold for only $2,230. So I'm going to place it at around $7,500. At number 7, we're with Come Little on. Pole Man. Oh my god. Give me a camera right now. Get me a camera right now. Right now, quick. Get me a camera. Okay, I'm getting you a camera. Two out of two, Luca Doncic. Wow. Bang, championship tag, patch auto, Luca. Will Paul Mann was 100% correct when he said he needed a camera. This is a beautiful card. The Luka Doncic Flawless Championship Tags Patch Autograph out of two. I got this thing at $8,000. Number six, we're with Grand Slam Collectibles. 
Only time will tell. Please be LaMelo. 101. 101. Be LaMelo. Yeah. 101 NBA Diamonds. Look at this. Holy. <laughs> LeBron <laughs> James. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we rush. <laughs> Line up the ladies, son. We knock them down. Let's go. <laughs> LeBron <laughs> James. Ding, 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 mother Let's go. Does this thing look a little familiar to you guys at all? We saw the LeBron James team logo gems at number seven last week. This is the NBA logo gems. So pretty crazy that back to back weeks, we have the LeBron James 101 gems out of flawless. And last week I had that card at 10K. I'm putting this one right there as well. Sneaking into the top five with Mojo Break. I'm calling an Edwards on the inside. Or a wise man. Ant Man! Shoot! Came up. Two out of five. Anthony Edwards. And check out my patch. And let's see. Game used. Anthony Edwards. We didn't see any Anthony Edwards cards last week out of Flawless, so I'm happy to show him here today. This is the Flawless Horizontal Patch Auto Emerald, which we saw actually LaMelo's last week at number two. LaMelo's prices are a little bit more, though, than Anthony Edwards. I think we were thinking LaMelo was around 30. If I remember correctly, I'm putting Anthony Edwards at about 20K. Number four, Brilliant. we're with last Bay pack. Area Pole. <laughs> Sweat that shit out. We should get a Herbie too. Oh my god. It's Herbie, bro. It's got it's the auto, it's blue. Give me a numbered Herbie. Numbered Herbie. Herbie be a numbered Herbie. Here it comes Oregon. Come on, be numbered. It's Herbie for sure. Give me a numbered one. Out of five! No! We oh! got it! We got it! Holy shit! Holy shit! Let's go, baby! We f***ed it! Wow! Oh my god! How about that for calling your shot? He said there was going to be a Herbert in there. This is a beautiful card right here. I know Burrow's kind of taking some of the limelight away from Herbert, but uh, this is a big card. The gold vinyl autograph out of Prism. Looking at comps, I looked for the most expensive gold vinyl Prism cards sold, and the one most recent was a 2018 Josh Allen, which was a BGS 9.5, and it sold for $42,000. This raw, I'm thinking is going to be about 30K, but it did come back as a PSA 9 with a 10 autograph. So that is definitely going to raise the price a little bit from that 30K mark. But if I was the one holding this card, I don't think I'd be selling it right now. Number three, we have Mamba cards. I'm, I'm picking the Rams, Aron. That's my team. LA, Rams. Redemption, let's go. Let's go, Captain. Oh man, it's Anthony McFarlane Jr. playoff ticket to 99 for the Steelers. Hopefully, we have another on card, but that might not be bro. All right. Well, let's take a look. Good luck, Captain. Let's see who your redemption is. Whoa. Rookie of the year, contenders autographs, platinum. That's a one on one. Captain? That should be a one on one. Card number one. Bye! Oh, we almost made it through the top 10 without a redemption, but this is a big, big card. It's not the biggest card in the set, however. This is one of the subset inserts or whatever, and they do not sell for near as much as the true contender autographs. I currently have a price of about $38,000 on this, and I, I think that might even be high. It is a one one Burrow, and Burrow is hot right now, but this same card out of 10 can be had for $4,000 right now on eBay. I just don't think there's going to be that big of a jump, but it's also a one-on-one Burrow autograph, rookie. <laughs> Who knows what someone's willing to pay for it.
At number two, we have Mitch Box Breaks. All right, guys, let's go. I like what I see on the bottom. Does it go to the house? <laughs> I can't give this away. Who's it going to be? Somebody's about to get a gold kaboom. Let's go. The Brady sold for like 69000 We hit. One time. Brady, let's go. The Bucks. Robin Shorestead. Five out of ten. Again. Boom. <laughs> let's freaking go. Not bad timing. Good old Tim Brady making the list. If you are one of the new viewers here, that's a running joke on the channel. We love Tom. So don't be mad at me in the comments. But this is an absolute beautiful card. I'm sure we saw the goal. I know we saw both greens of Tom Brady. These kabooms are very, very sought after by collectors. I think this card's selling for about 40 k right now. And there's a very good chance we featured them before with this hit. I can't remember. It would have been a while ago, but... That's pretty awesome. And at number one this week, Layton Sports Cards. There's a really big hit coming up, you guys. There's a really big hit coming up. Rookie Diamond Gem, 20 of 20, Cole Anthony. There you go, Magic, 20 of 20, Diamond Guarantee. You guys ready for this? Oh, boy. I'm just going to... <laughs> oh man oh boy <laughs> logo man patch auto one of one Ja Morant boom holy cow <laughs> This card is absolutely beautiful. John Morant is one heck of a player, and this Logo Man Auto is obviously one of a kind. I searched Golden Auctions and eBay for comps. There are a lot for sale, I will say, on eBay, but not a lot of sales. Looking at a number of different options out there, I came to a $50,000 price tag on this, but I certainly could be wrong. This is one of those cards that really only appeal to a select number of people, and they got to be willing to shell out the dollars for it, but this is an absolutely awesome card. Congrats to Leighton Sports Cards on taking down the number one spot this week. And it seemed to work pretty well last week to put the honorable mentions at the end. So we're going to do that again here today. Our first one's with Eli's Collectibles pulling a retail right hanger Another box shit. of mosaic. Kawhi, finals, and then scripts. Rookie scripts, what is this? Are you kidding me? Are you guys kidding me? No way, guys. Check this out, a LaMelo Ball autograph. Oh my goodness. I'm shaking right now, guys. Pulling a $1,200 card out of a retail hanger box? Yes, please. That is an awesome card. Congratulations. I assume your name's Eli. Congrats to you, dude. That is insane. Our next one's Dave Chomps Parker. Live That's Breaks. Nice. That's nice. Dave Parker's real nice. That's really nice. But, you know, but really, it's, really nice? it's not this nice. Your husband. Oh, it's a one of one! Oh my god! Well, somebody's gonna have a one happy night. of one Mike Trout. Oh. Holy oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. We didn't have any baseball love in today's top 10, so I'm happy to at least be able to show you guys one baseball pool. And this is a big card. These tops five star are $200 hobby boxes, but you only get two cards. Both are autographed. So, I mean, pretty hit or miss. High risk, high reward, I'm sure, on this product. But this Jumbo Prime Relic Auto Team Patch card with Mike Trout is a beauty. And I have it comped out at $3,000. 
And our final honorable mention comes from our good buddy across the pond, Rick Man Rips. He speaks mainly in German, but I recognize a few of the English words he throws out here. For our flawless coffee, and it is a signature prime materials. Gucken weiter. Und guck mal, ob wir von unten irgendwas sehen können oder ob ich jetzt direkt an das, den Namen schon spoiler. Und es ist einfach Ja Morant auf 10. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Scheiße! Alter! F***ing hell, ey! Scheiße! Alter! Ja Morant! Ja Morant on fire, natürlich Game One klar, keine Rookie-Karte, aber Ja Morant on fire auf 10. Patch Autograph. Alter Schwede. I love the fact that he's just got a party going on in the background. I'm just picturing the boys hanging out, you know, watching you rip a very, very expensive flawless basketball product and you pull that. I got this card at about $4,000, but it is an absolute beauty. Just missed the top 10, but an awesome card nonetheless. Congrats to you, Rick, man. Not a bad list this week, huh? That was pretty incredible. Flawless and Immaculate are two very, very awesome products. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that we're going to see some more of that again next week because the two big releases are going to be Rookies and Stars football and playoff football. So not your high dollar products. Probably not going to see, I'm not going to say we're not going to see anything, but uh, I guarantee you there's going to be more Flawless and Immaculate polls next week. Hopefully we get some more low numbered Immaculate polls. I want to see some top QB RPAs at that one out of 18, it's cool, but we got to see some of those shields and stuff. You guys go ahead and let me know what was your favorite poll this week. And if you do me a massive favor, please go to at least that channel. Give them a like, shoot them a comment, congratulate them for making this list. That'd mean the world to me. We're just trying to get exposure to some of these people while having fun. That's all we're doing here. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Enjoy the Pro Bowl, whatever you're up to. Hopefully it's fun. I hope to see you guys again sometime soon. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.